Good afternoon. For today's felting project, I'm going to make a little angel. Okay, we will start with some of this white wool. And we're going to make the body, which is going to be like a dress, so we're going to make a cone shape. So we just kind of roll it into a cone shape. starting to take shape. It just needs a little, well, a lot more work just to get it nice and even. satisfied with that. It's uh, smooth enough. So now we're going to make the arms. Now we've got the dress done, so we're going to make the arms. So we're going to take white again, and we're going to roll. This is going to be the, the sleeves to the, or the arms of the angel. So I felt the ends really, really, really tight, and then I leave it soft in the middle so that I can felt it onto the body. It's going to go on like so. Okay. I also like to make little like bell arms so that they're a little uh, that they flare out at the ends. Yeah, that's just my personal preference. Now if you want it totally seamless here, then what you can do is take a little extra piece of white and just fold it over the top so that you don't see the where it's been attached. Okay. Now you can, of course, bring the arms in, put the hands together. You can fold it up so that they're praying. You can put it in whatever pose you want. I'm just going to have the arms down today. So I'm gonna take some of this apricot color here and I'm just gonna put some hands in here. Okay, 
we have arms and hands. Now we're gonna make the head. So we're gonna take more of this apricot color and we're going to roll it into a ball. I am sure there are a million different techniques to making bodies and figures and, and stuff like that. I'm self-taught, so I've just learned from trial and error and I do what suits me, <laughs> what I like best. So I encourage all of you to just find your own ways of of felting, how you feel the wool and how you like it to take shape. Okay, so there we have the little head. Now we're just going to mount the head right onto the body here. Just felt it into place. Give it a little tug, make sure that it's on there. Now this angel has no neck, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another, just a little tiny piece of this and roll it. And what I do is I, I put it under here and then I just wrap it. Like so. And then you can just felt it into place. So there we have the head and the arms and the body. And now I think we can put some hair on. Uh, I think I think she can be a brunette. So I have some of this brown wool. And what I like to do is bring it around the, the side here, like that. Pack it into place and then if you're gonna give her a part or something like that. I think we can decorate with maybe a little braid or something. Just tie a little knot.
that's long enough. Let's see. Yep. You can wrap it around the top here like this. Just tuck it under here. Okay, now the hair is done. So normally I don't put eyes on, but I think I'm going to do it today. Just very simple. Two little tiny black dots. There's two little eyes. And now all she's missing is her wings. And I think I'm going to use a larger wing today. I have these beautiful little iridescent wings that I bought on eBay. Actually, we're going to do that. I'm just going to sew those on. to cover the back here with just a little so that it looks cleaner. nice and clean. And there she is. I hope you liked my little tutorial on making an angel. And to all you angels on earth, happy Mother's Day. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, uh, Robin's Cozy Creations, or The Hobby Bird. Have a great day. Bye.